So we look at certifying uh, veterans before their discharge. Great step to help with their reintegration and to get them employed at the community level, uh, Paul. And we've talked about, right, the federal government is not going to solve this for a variety of reasons. So it's got to be the center of gravity here is community, it's corporations, it's NGOs, and it's individuals. What are you seeing through your organization at the community level that is yeah. working, and what do we need to do more of? Well, I want to answer both of those questions at the same time. So I do a lot of panels where we sit around and re-identify the problems. A lot of the problems that we're presenting to you, we were presenting to groups like you five years ago. Um, we got to get towards solutions. And we're turning that frustration into motivation, and we're going to solve our own problems, um, just like we did in Iraq and Afghanistan. The, the old adage in, in, in the infantry is adapt, improvise, and overcome. And as an organization, the largest organization of Iraq vets in the country, Iraq and Afghanistan vets in the country, we can't afford to wait around any longer. So we're moving forward. And, and people ask me, what can you do? Here's a really simple thing. Support the best in class nonprofit organizations that exist already, period. Don't reinvent the wheel. Groups like ours have been working in this space, some of us for 10 years, eight years, five years. A best in class has emerged, okay? And they desperately need support. Most of them are living hand to mouth and they are, they are seeing the demand on their, on their programs skyrocket. Demand on our programs are pretty much tripling. So for us, the secret recipe for veterans doing well, this generation, is a, is a model that we call HEEC. We love acronyms in the military. So it's, it's health, education, employment, and community. If you tackle those four things together, um, but the last part, community, being the most important part. The biggest thing that IAVA does is bring veterans together, connect them with each other, and connect them with resources. So it's 350 events a year, but it's also online resources. And we've got to help cut through the clutter, because even in this conversation, you hear a lot of different things. So the veterans don't know where to go, you don't know where to go. So I actually give Mullen some credit, because he's been leading now. He's out of the military when he was really restricted. DOD will tell you, and Mullen will tell you, they, they kind of hand you to the edge, and then it's somebody else's challenge. Mm -hmm. That's where the VA and the country really steps up. So I just want to give you one, one short comparison. I talk about the AIDS analogy a lot, because 25 years ago, AIDS hit this country. It was a massive public health challenge. Uh, most of the country didn't feel it. Um, there was no research. There was no metrics for efficacy when it came to, came to programs. Most of the existing nonprofits hadn't adapted. Corporations really weren't involved yet, and there was no philanthropy. There was no market for good ideas that could be taken to scale. That's where we are now. And also, folks thought AIDS was a gay problem. Okay? These are the same challenges we're facing now. Even the research. We can't tell you what the exact suicide rate is because nobody knows. We need research. We need metrics for, for evaluation around services. And we need the best in class that are doing good work. What I see at the community level is a lot of great groups that can't get to scale. So there's this tremendous innovation coming out of this generation. I've called them at times the innovation generation. But there's no marketplace for their ideas. So what we need is, is investment. We need the American public to step up and say, we're going to create a platform where these good ideas, if this young vet comes up with a nonprofit that, that's, that's doing good work, how does he get that to a national level? It doesn't exist right now. And philanthropy is one area that I think needs to step up. We, we're getting a lot of $10,000, $50,000 donations. We need to move the decimal point to get into the millions and tens of millions, because these problems are hard, they're, they're complicated, and they're expensive. Very expensive. So we've really got to understand that we've got to move the decimal point on all of our, of our, of our solutions here and, and really try to consolidate. And I think Admiral Mullen and, and people like that, Crystal's here, they're mm -hmm. going to lead again in, in a way that's mm -hmm. really necessary. You know, Paul, you talk